Hey YouTube, Not Home Art here. It's Randy, and uh, I've got a Yabo. And I wasn't expecting this one because this is uh, from Pipe Makers Euporium. <clears throat> I ordered this about 2 o'clock Wednesday. This is not even 2 o'clock on Friday, so less than 48 hours from when I ordered it, I've got it from Arizona to Alabama. <clears throat> Amazing. So I'm going to open this up quick, and um, first thing, I have stain, fleebings, fleeb, fleebings, fleebing stains. So I've got, I bought the kit, so I got So, all the different stains, <clears throat> so I'm good there. I've been using a, an oil-based stain on my pipes. It's not really the best stain, so. Um, and then I've got a few uh, pre-molded acrylic bits that I wanted to, uh, I'm going to start making, turning my own, I'm eventually going to get my own uh, lathe, but I've got some Again, the, there's some nice, uh, here we are, nice looking bits. So I got a blue, and I got a tortoise. And I think this one's called tan. So they pulled this order together, packaged it, got it out that day. I tell you, my experience with Pimo was nothing like that. In fact, a week later I called and they hadn't sent my stuff because there was they didn't have my visa number right. And it was probably my fault. But instead of it was a two hundred and some dollar order, they didn't call me. They just didn't ship it. So when I followed up with them, they said, Oh, your visa number didn't go through. I said, Well, do you think you should have called me? And then and then after I ordered it, wanted them to escalate it to get it a little faster. They said, well, we only ship on Wednesdays. So you may or may not get it. Very, very poor customer service at Pimo. I not, was not happy at all. However, the exact opposite for our Pipe Makers Emporium. And you know what? I'm in sales and training and things like that. And customer service is everything. You know, when people look after you, guess where my business is going? Not Pimo. All right, and and they were very, they were you know to to get it to come a little faster. I said you know it it it's fine if you uh, take my ebonite and cut those long rods in half so that they can be shipped in a smaller box. And the, she didn't even really want to do that. And I said no, that's fine. So um, I've got some twenty two millimeter beautiful German ebonite. Start doing some custom stems there. So that's cool. And I'm still keeping some of the. I got a, I got some ebonite pre-molded ones also. There's still lots of work to have to do on these, but uh, there's some. Made in Italy, made in Italy. I know some of you pipe makers are like, if you don't make the stem too, but I love working with the briar. I'm still, I'm still, uh, you know, not sure that I want to do all of that work just to get that um, well I guess I guess I should say I'm going to because hey I've got ebonite rods now but I still have lots of these too all right and uh, oh and I've got a couple of uh, after seeing Jeremiah Sandell's work in making all that work into making a church warden. I thought I'm going to get a couple of pre-molded church warden stems here. So I did that. So uh, I've got a pipe. In fact, I think what I'm going to do, I'll show you something. Be right back. <clears throat> I'm thinking that uh, 
this olive wood pipe that I'm making, which has some imperfections in it, some little knots and things like that. Not that there's anything wrong with knots. Like, you know knots are a good thing. Knot. You get it? Not home. Randy knot. Okay. <clears throat> so, there's a little knot, a little crack kind of deal, but there's a knot inside the bowl. But uh, the friend of mine that actually gave me this olive wood um, that came from Israel, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to give this to him. So this is in the rough stage. But I'm thinking it would make a nice little church warden. So that's why I ordered that stem. Anyhow, I wasn't expecting that today. I, it, I was hoping it would come tomorrow so I could have this material to use on the weekend. In fact, I stained. I'll show you another pipe I'm working on real quick here. And I'm not, I'm not finished with, I'm not finished with this one yet, but uh, this is, this is, uh, and the, the, I did a contrasting grain with it, and I'm not happy with how everything worked out there. So I'm still, um, I may sand this one down and use some of my new stains, but that's, that's the shape of this one. Got a little bend on the stem. So, anyhow, I think this pipe could have been a little bit more than what it is right now. So I may sand this down and restain it and redo it. I've still got to put a little more wax on it and shine it. I wasn't planning on showing you this, this uh, quite yet, but anyhow. I do like the grain. I think part of the problem is I like the grain here, and it's got great contrasting grain uh, with the contrasting stain, but then when it comes over to this bird's eye, it just it doesn't punch the same way, and I don't know, maybe I'll think I'm crazy, but I like this stem. It's kind of a cool, it's triangular, and it, the way it shapes out like this. Kind of cool. But again, that was a pre-molded stem. I still had to do a bunch of work to it, but it's I didn't cut it all out like that. Anyhow, quick little video. Well, actually, it's not a quick little video. I'm at seven minutes. So, anyhow, good to see you all again. Take care.